Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we're taking a look at tiny details you probably didn't know while you were playing Anno 1800. Stay tuned, there has to be at least something that is new to you. Are you tired of the really slow scrolling speed when you put your mouse to the edge of the screen? And you go to the option menu and you see there's no option to control the scroll speed? And you try using the arrow key to move it and it's still slow? But what if I told you you can combine the two and make it faster? Slow fast slow fast so how you can do that is to use the keys in combination you move the mouse cursor to the left hand side for example then you use the arrows in combination at the same time keep holding down everything as you already know there are two ways to build roads next to buildings near the coastline you could do it like this where you're hugging the road at the edges of each building or you can extend a road here and extend a road down to the building that you're connecting to each one. But you can actually share roads if you build it this way. You see how these two buildings here, they share the same road. All you have to do is connect it right in the point between the midway point here. Same thing for these two buildings here, they share the same road. But if you do it like this, where well, each building has to take each individual road. If you're constantly annoyed that your trade ships are getting diseases all over the place, and when that happens, your whole economy comes crashing down. A minor fix for that is that charter routes can't get disease. So for any trade routes that are really important to you, that you don't want your economy to suffer, just put them on a charter route. They can't get disease. These charter routes are controlled by a different entity, so you don't have to worry about micromanaging them. You just have to make sure they're not being attacked by pirates. You already know that you can build piers on the coastline. But did you know you can actually build them in the middle of the ocean somewhere, right here? Or if you want to cut down the travel distance between, let's say, this island here and this island here, well, you can navigate up somewhere here, build one little pier here, and then go to this corner somewhere and build another one closer to here somewhere, as long as there's a free coastline. If you hover your mouse cursor to a ship, you can see that there's a yellow line on the left-hand side there. It's a little radius that tells you the range of the ship. Don't forget that you can actually put in these little items in, in the ship so that the range is extended. Here you now we notice that the range has been extended all the way over here. Before it was just around this area here. There you go, it's shorter. If you see flotsam in the middle of the ocean somewhere, make sure you pick them up as soon as you're able to because they will sink. You can pick them all up at the same time by holding down the shift key and then right clicking on each individual one and the ship will go ahead and pick it up and then you can bring it back to your harbor or any place you want to bring it. Let's say you have a patch of land on your island that you want to be more natural and look more beautiful and you want the forest to grow here. But unfortunately you accidentally destroy the forest. Now you could put these decoration trees on here but maybe it doesn't look as natural as these trees that you want here. They look naturally beautiful. So what you can do is put a lumberjack's hut around these areas and eventually the trees will grow back. And there we go, the trees are now growing back. Makes the place look a little bit more natural. If you spend some time watching birds fly in formation, you'll notice that they do something interesting. The leader of the formation will actually fly for a little bit and then change and go back towards the end of the line. Birds fly in formation for very interesting reasons. Look it up, but this is one of those little tiny details that the developers put in the game just because they're pretty awesome. And that's it for this video. I'm curious to know which uh, tiny details that you already know, which one was completely new to you. And uh, feel free to share any details that you yourself have found out that is not mentioned or no one knows about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time in the next video. Stay tuned. Take care.